Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you an IEQA Tech Tip on grains of moisture. If you hang around with water damage restoration contractors for any length of time, you will inevitably hear them use the term grains of moisture. What does that phrase mean? The moisture in the air actually weighs something, albeit a very small weight. One way to quantify humidity in the air is to measure that weight. When dealing with very light weights, the unit of a pound can produce unmanageable decimals. 0.009 pounds of moisture doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. The unit of measure called a grain can be a more useful term in these circumstances. 7,000 grains equals a pound. Where did this unit of measure come from? Originally, a grain was the weight of a seed of grain from the middle of an ear of barley. <laughs> These obscure conversions help you appreciate the metric system even more. Now when someone refers to the number of grains of moisture in the air, they're typically referring to one of two units of measure, humidity ratio or specific humidity. Humidity ratio is the grains of moisture per pound of dry air and specific humidity is the grains of moisture per pound of moist air. The two values are always very close to each other. I find that HVAC engineers typically use humidity ratio and water damage restoration contractors use specific humidity. The benefit of measuring the grains is that it's a truer measurement of the amount of moisture in the air when compared to relative humidity, which can go up and down significantly just by changing the temperature without even adding or removing moisture. I like to reference both the relative humidity and the grains of moisture when evaluating humidity levels. Some hygrometers will provide you with both relative humidity and the grains. If not, you'll need to get out your psychometric chart and do some calculating. Don't worry, the IAQA has a class for that. To learn more about humidity in air, take the IAQA University classes titled Introduction to Psychrometrics and Using the Psychrometric Chart. Visit the IAQA website for more information.